Hawkins Elementary School had a taste of Japanese culture. In correlation with the school reading, Suki's kimono, nine Japanese students from USM visited Margaret Adderholt's first grade class. Our story in our reading series mm -hmm. is about Suki's kimono, mm -hmm. and it's about a little girl who's entering first grade for the first day, mm -hmm. and she wore a kimono to school, and her getas, her shoes, and everybody laughs at her. The heart of Suki's kimono is to be proud of your heritage and embrace who you are. In honor of the book, the students were given a kimono demonstration. We've been having so much fun with the Japanese boys and girls. We've been having fun. And it's so fun that we, they've been practicing, they've been teaching us how to use chopsticks with popcorn. I tell my mom. Along with the kimono demonstration, students were taught how to use chopsticks and do origami. The kids are enjoying it. They love it. They didn't know anything about Jap the Jap Japanese and their culture. And um, they get the chance to actually interact with them today. And they're enjoying it. They're overly excited about it. <laughs> Suki's kimono came alive today at Hawkins Elementary School. Reporting for 7 on Your Side, I'm Elizabeth Gouge. Konnichiwa! Konnichiwa!